Do you want to go from Vox Ed what to Vox Edit Genius and create this cute little fox all in less than 15 minutes? Of course you do. Everything that gets imported into the Sandbox Game Maker engine needs to have a facing direction, which is why Vox Edit gives us this little arrow at the bottom. So basically, anything you create, like our fox, must face this way. Next you'll notice that the main area of our workspace has a grid to help you align your new voxels. You can turn this on and off by dropping into the bottom right corner and selecting the uh, buttons as you see fit. I generally leave the grid turned on all the time as it makes things easier. Okay, the last thing we need to do before we get started with our fox is to show you how to manipulate the camera angles. First of all, the right hand mouse button. If you click and hold, you can rotate your uh, model up, down, left, sideways, and see it from different angles, front to back. So practice that for a little bit. It'll become second nature, but you need to be able to do that. Number two is the center mouse button slash wheel. If you use it as a wheel, you rotate it in, we can zoom in, we can zoom out, which will be handy for doing fine details depending on where you're working. And if you use that center mouse wheel as a button, click it, you can drag your whole model up, down, around. So practice with that too till it becomes second nature. And that's 90% of what you want to do. If you get this thing off-centered at some point, you can't rotate it, and it's just it's kind of messed up, which, which will happen to you, this little button up here will recenter your model so you can get things back under control. So let's get started with our little fox. First thing... We've got, uh, looks like a 2x2, two 2x2 two, two two pixel or voxel, 1 up, 2 up, uh, foot. So voxel is 2 feet long. Looks like it's 3 voxels behind the front and the back, and 3 voxels apart. Also looks like the back foot is 1 wider than the front foot. So let's see about doing, doing this. So remember, the front is here. So this is the way we want our... Uh, our little guy to look. So uh, we're going to click on the voxel color that we want. In this case, we want a black one. We want to attach something new. And if you look down here, it calls it the create mode. You can tell what mode you're in by looking down there if you hover over the item. So I'm going to click attach. We also have paint and erase, but attach now. And I just want a single little voxel dot. So I'm going to click on the pen tool. So I'll draw our first one. You can see it's a little hard to see where the second one's going to be from this angle. So we can rotate it around using your right hand mouse button. And we need to go three over. Draw two more voxels. I'm going to go three back. One, two, three. And then outside. One, two. That looks right. Three back. And then outside. So now we have our feet on the ground. Let's also, while we're here, put our little leg up, our ankle. So I think we're doing okay. We've got the four there. We do need a little red red leg keep going up. So let's come back to our screen. And now we need to add a reddish color. So go to the palette here, click on the plus, and click somewhere in the reddish orangish zone. You can drag this up to wherever you want. And then get in there. That's a little... Yeah, I like that reddish orange. Now you can see it's selected because it's got the little white ring around it. So we know next time we draw a voxel and we're still on attach and we're still on a single voxel. So one, two, three, four. Now that's our legs. Now we need to draw the main body. What's that going to look like? Well, main body here, it starts on top of the leg. Looks like it's a big rectangular base. It's uh, one behind the back foot and a couple in front of the uh, of the front leg. So let's try to draw that. Now you can't draw in the middle of nothing, right? It's got to attach to something. So what we're going to do is bring the leg up. Again, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to bring this across. And then we can attach our square. This is part of the square or rectangle to this. So let's go ahead and... Uh, drag across and draw our next layer. 
The other thing we could do, or we should have done probably, is actually go into the box mode. This is for drawing boxes. So we can just grab this. Actually, we can draw boxes like this by clicking and holding the mouse button down. So that's very handy for drawing big, big squares, basically. I'm going to hit Control-Z to get rid of that. And we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to keep going across. So there's our next layer. The other handy tool that would come in handy right now is the face tool. So click on the face. And any face or front, we could drag it up. We could come out the side, but we want to bring this back this way. So let's click on here. One, two, three. That way we don't have to drag across and, and mess with it. Now if I click it here, it's going to draw this whole thing. In fact, we'll do it, which we didn't want. So hit Control-Z. And let's go back to our box tool. And we just want this part because those back legs are on the outside. And I need one more. And we needed two up front, I think, too. So we're still in the box mode and attach. Bring that across. Bring that across. And I didn't want these. We can get rid of that kind of stuff later. Actually, let's just do it now. Hit the eraser mode right here. And we can just click on the ones we don't want. You can get rid of your mistakes that way. So back to our original model. We've got that big square. A rectangle. So it looks like we need to come up one, two, three, four to draw the Bane body. Now the best way to do that is again with our face tool, which is this one. And we're going to bring this face up. So one, now you hit Control Z to get out of your mistakes. You know why that happened? Because I'm erasing. I'm not attaching. One, two, three. Now we actually brought that leg up, which we didn't want. So I'm going to hit the erase mode. And go back to just the pencil mode. So one, two, three, bring that down. Rotate it around. One, two, three. So now we got our base unit. How do we want to go from here? It looks to me like, well, we could draw the tail. Let's go back here. Drag this back to the center. Tail is in the center and it came out three. So we're on the draw tool and we don't want to erase. We want to attach. So one, two, three three right hand mouse button to rotate it around come down one and then drag that back up we came out two once with a kind of a cream color which is also going to be the color of the beard and then once on the black so let's get a cream color hit our little plus button something a little creamier color that's a little bright a little dark yeah that'll work so we want to attach and we're still on the pencil and attach mode so click that then we can click up here, the black. There. Now we have our crooked little tail. What else do we need? Looks like we have these back of the neck here. We can draw that, and that's right behind the front leg. So let's do that. And that was orange, so click on that. And again, we're still on the attach and the single voxel mode. So here's the leg. We need one, two, control Z. Didn't want that. My angle's bad here. We'll just rotate it around. And I think that looks like what we got there. One, two, three. One, two, three. The next thing we need, looks like our head goes all the way, from, well, one up from the bottom. It's one, two, three, four, five tall and three across. So let's do that. Rotate this around. This is the back of the neck, so we need to draw it here. We wanted to start one up here, and instead of using the pencil and drawing them all one at a time, we're going to go back to the box mode. Click here, drag it up, and across. And you can see we've got it most of the way across. We still need to come across here. One, two, three, and we'll come out and down. So I think that looks pretty close to what we had. Looks fine, except for the color in the corner. We also need another rectangular part on the front, the nose. So that's one up from the bottom, three wide, two tall. So let's do that. Rotate this around, bring it in the middle so we can see it. Looks like more front. One up from the bottom. We had three across. We're doing the box brush still. Up. Here's our first layer. And we can do the face tool here, but that's not hardly worth it. And there's our there's our, our muzzle with the nose on the end. 
wrong color, but we've got the nose on the end. We're getting pretty close there, right? Shaping up anyway. And I think, actually, looking at the picture, this doesn't look like his head's tall enough. We're supposed to go one, two, three, four, five tall, and we only have four here. So this would be a good spot to get this out of the way. To use our face tool. Actually, no, it wouldn't, because if we do face, it's going to draw these, well, these two in, right? We didn't want those. That's fine. We can just hit the erase, or we could have just drawn a box. So let's hit the erase tool and get rid of those two, because the back of our neck is supposed to... What did I do? Well, I hit the face, <laughs> and it did exactly what it should have. I'm going to hit Control-Z, get that back. You know, the easiest way is just to draw another box. Start here. Except I'm in a race. This is going to mess it up. Control Z. Pay attention to your tools. Hit attach. Draw our next level up. So now we're proper height. What else do we need to do now? Well, we got a couple of ears up here that we can draw. I need those to be in black, which we already have over here. So click the black. We're going to go to single voxel this time. And draw that. One, two, and one up. One, two, one up. Pretty cool. What else do we need? Well, the nose is supposed to be black. So this is where we're going to use our paint tool. Click on paint. We're not going to attach a voxel or delete it. We're just going to paint one of them, this nose. Make sure it's black, which it already is. And that's how we can paint. I think we also, while well, we've got the black selected, need to draw an eye, a black pupil in. We're going to paint that, right? We don't want the eyeball to pop out. So it's going to be right there. So let's draw that in, or paint that in. And it also had some white whites around the eye, so let's paint that on. How's that looking? Looking pretty close. Now this guy's got a little bit of a beard, so we probably should do that with our peachy color that we already selected for that little spot on the tail. So click our peachy color, and we wanted to go across the front, so I'm holding the mouse down, dragging, click there, click out to the outside, click down, draw that across, and might as well get the bottom of his uh, mouth there too, and the outside of the muzzle. Now, that's looking pretty close. In fact, I think we're almost done. Okay, it looks like the last thing we need to do is finish our legs because we had some thicker haunches up front here. So let's grab our box mode, attach, and make sure we're on our orange color. And let's draw in one kind of four by four square there, and one more up there. So we got a couple of four by four dot deals on each side. And do the same thing over here. So four by four here, and another one back here. And I think that gives us our complete box. And now you've gone from complete noob to promising voxel artist.